We are so pleased this evening to have the opportunity to recognize our outstanding seniors and a few selected juniors for their work during the 2013-2014 school year. So students and families, please accept my congratulations and appreciation for all of your hard work and dedication to your studies. Good evening. I am Matt Moore, and it has been my pleasure for the past four years to serve at, as a grade level administrator to the class of 2014. Students, we would like to thank each of you for attending this evening's ceremony and allowing us to honor your accomplishments. Uh, also, uh, family, we do appreciate your attending with us. We are going to begin this evening's ceremony with the presentation of the Achievement Awards. Ms. Carol Working and I will be presenting those awards. I will present the first award. First is the Montgomery College Trustees Academic Potential Scholarship. The Board of Trustees Academic Specialty Scholarship is presented to a student who plans to attend or enroll in any Montgomery County, Montgomery College campus in the fall of 2014 and have a cumulative GPA of 2 point or 3 point or, or higher. This scholarship provides a one-year scholarship that covers the full-time cost of tuition and fees and is given to a student with great academic potential. We are proud to see Sarah Harris as the recipient of this scholarship. Sarah has demonstrated academic growth and potential by attempting her first AP course in her junior year and following with three in her senior year. All of her teachers have found her to be hardworking and have great academic potential. The second award is the Daniel J. Shea Scholarship. awarded this evening to the student who has demonstrated all of the qualities of a Quince Orchard Cougar. This is the eighth year that this award has been presented to a student who has demonstrated hard work, dedication, outstanding service to the school community, as well as personal integrity. This student will receive a $500 scholarship completely funded by the Quince Orchard High School PTSA. The award this evening is presented to Megan Doherty. <laughs> Megan exemplifies all of the great qualities held by Mr. Shea, who was the principal of Quince Orchard High School before me. She has given countless hours of service to the school. She plays volleyball. She's on the softball team. She is the assistant editor in chief of. Tracks our award-winning yearbook. She is, works in Best Buddies. She's a Quince Orchard ambassador. Megan does it all, and she truly exemplifies the spirit of Mr. Shea and all that he hoped for our students. So congratulations to you. Great job. The next award that we have is the Bethany Presbyterian Church Award, which goes to Sarah Barney. <laughs> has challenged themselves in the classroom 
and Sarah has certainly done that, increasing her academic load each year, beginning as, as an honor student, but moving on up to AP, all the while maintaining her GPA and um, receiving kudos from her teachers for her hard work. This scholarship um, is $1,000, which will be given to Megan to use at the um, college of her choice. So congratulations to you. that Matt knew so much more about computers and programming than I did. It is no surprise to those who know Matt that he is being recognized tonight for his accomplishment solving problems or programming. A quick thinker and extremely ambitious young man, Matt entered the Google Coding Contest again this year with his eyes set on not just getting a t-shirt, but on winning. The contest runs from November to early January and consists of students signing up to try and solve a variety of problems that have been supplied by Google. The problems range in their subject area from coding to working with documentation, training, quality assurance, outreach, and so on. The difficulty ranges between problems, and each student works with a mentor who is currently working as a programmer in the real world. Over this seven-week time period, the programmers race to solve as many problems correctly as possible. 